Are you in? If you followed thegameday.com's fantasy football content, congratulations, you've made it to the fantasy playoffs. Welcome into another episode of Fantasy Dilemma. I am your host, Nate Hamilton. You can follow me on Twitter at DominateFF. Let's jump right in and find out who you should be adding at the wide receiver position. Of course, I'm going to kick things off here with my guy, wide receiver of the Houston Texans, Kiki Kuti. The game days Courtney Fallon made fun of me as much as she could with how much I actually mentioned Kuti's name in our last Fantasy Dilemma Live episode, but I'm the one that's laughing now. With wide receivers Will Fuller suspended, Randall Cobb on IR, and Kenny Stills released, Week 13 had Kiki Kuti's name written all over it. He had a season-high eight receptions on a season-high nine targets for a season-high 141 yards in Week 13. Deshaun Watson now has limited options, but Kiki Kuti has earned valuable targets moving forward. Moving on to the running back position, it's Adrian Peterson of the Detroit Lions. Guys, I realize this is not a sexy pick. I get it. But you can't ignore what he's done the last couple weeks for the Detroit Lions. He now has double-digit carries in each of his last two games. And like it or not, Adrian Peterson is the leading running back for the Detroit Lions. Rookie DeAndre Swift has not played since Week 10, but even when he returns, Adrian Peterson has done enough in the last couple weeks to earn more carries going forward. Now, typically this is where I give you a tight end to add, but honestly, there just hasn't been anybody who I haven't already mentioned the last couple of weeks to do anything to warrant adding heading into week 14. So instead, I'm gonna give you another wide receiver that I like, and it's T.Y. Hilton of the Indianapolis Colts. Now, before you say it, yes, he was the first wide receiver I suggested for you to drop back in my first Fantasy Dilemma video. But here's the thing. The beauty of fantasy football is things change. Phillip Rivers, who has now thrown multiple touchdown passes in each of his last three games, is finally targeting T.Y. Hilton. Hilton has 12 receptions for 191 yards and two touchdowns in his last two games. If Phillip Rivers continues to target T.Y. Hilton, then he provides you value in your fantasy football lineups. Now it's time to move on to who you should be dropping as we head into the fantasy playoffs. At the wide receiver position, it's Travis Fulgham of the Philadelphia Eagles. Since Alshon Jeffrey has returned, Fulgham has been obsolete, and the kicker is neither one of them has been effective. This Philadelphia Eagles offense is in trouble, and Travis Fulgham has totaled just four receptions for 32 yards in his last four games. Unfortunately, it's time to turn the page at the wide receiver position. At the running back position, it's time to move on from Gio Bernard of the Cincinnati Bengals. I was hoping Bernard could be a trustworthy option with Joe Mixon out, but this Bengals offense is damaged beyond the running back position. Bernard hasn't had double digit carries since week eight, and he only has 80 total rushing yards in his last three games and his typical passing game work has not even been there the last few weeks, which eliminates his safe floor for fantasy purposes. If I were you, I'd avoid the Bengals' offense altogether. And finally, it's much easier to tell you who to drop at the tight end position, and this week it's Hayden Hurst of the Atlanta Falcons. He's rostered in 74% of leagues. He's not been much of a factor since the Falcons' bye week in Week 10, and he's only totaled five receptions for 57 yards in his last three games. This includes a complete goose egg he gave up in week 11. Guys, this is not the production you're looking for out of the tight end position heading into the fantasy football playoffs. That's gonna do it for this episode of Fantasy Dilemma. Be sure to like, follow, and subscribe wherever you're watching this. Comment and let us know who you plan on adding and dropping from your fantasy football rosters, and good luck in the fantasy playoffs.